Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to The Settlers 2 where we are currently... Ooh, very loud. Uh, we are currently beset on both sides by the Mongols. Are you building their storehouse? Okay. Hmm. Oh, you're trying to build a barracks down there. These guys really are good. Like, the AI is really good at cramming like military structures into places. <laughs> Damn so better than I am anyway. That's because I always just like stick with my regimented roads. Um right, I'm gonna upgrade this to a stronghold. Um I really need to see about doing something over this way. And keeping an eye on this northeastern front. We're still building a guardhouse up this way. And trying to get these trees cleared out here so that I can build another farm. Uh, that guardhouse is done, which is good. There's no space to expand there, but it should be okay. Um, okay, my plan for today, I think, going to get some more roads in, um, is to try and get the food industry in a better state. Really reinforce the uh, defenses. This will stay open to coin supply because we've got... Like, it's entirely possible that the soldiers here will have to go out and defend any other military structures that we're going to have in the area. So that will stay open for promotion. Uh, you're done, which means I'm going to bring roads around this way, get rid of that one, and you're extending. Uh, you're finished as well, which is just good stuff. And the Hunter's Height is done as well, so as soon as we can get somebody up this way to start operating that, we'll have another food supply. And I suppose we could ex... Oh, I can't extend that one. Hmm... Why can I not extend that one? See, that whole kind of lack of space is really ambiguous. It doesn't tell me anything. Uh, you look to be done, though, mate, so... Or are you? Because there's trees around here. Or are they just outside of your operating range? Don't know. I'll leave you there for now, I guess. And we should get a ship builder up here. Shipyard. And probably grab a woodcutter's hut so we can clear these trees and tidy up some roads. You can see they're trying to nudge their way around this front up on the northeast. And I'm not going to let them do it. It's not happening, not on my watch. I don't know how much space there's going to be to play with for, uh, like, how how wide that oh it's actually not that bad I could work with that yeah we'll, we'll work with that we'll try and cut them cut them off on this pass they've got a lot of trees that they're trying to clear through at the moment so if I can like get another woodcutters here as well um, if I can kind of charge my way through here oh they are I'm assuming they've got some sort of military building up this way. Let me get a lookout tower up here. And... Can I get you up there? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, the important thing at the moment is just securing uh, build sites for more military structures. Not getting anything in there. Something in here, maybe? Oh, yeah, we could put a guardhouse in there. That can work. That works for me. Yeah, that woodcutter's hat's done. Okay. And I think that quarry's done as well. So we're going to shift you forward. You can come down here. You can get right up in the middle of all this. Okay, I'm going to speed up some time so I can get some of this construction done. And get some more of these trees cleared out. Oh, territory lost. Okay, it's fine. 
and beefing up with strongholds. Oh shit. Um, no, don't want that there. Cheeky sons of bitches. Destroying my roads. Will not stand for that. It's nice to see that we're getting a good supply of generals just everywhere at the moment. Right, got a guardhouse there. Immediate upgrade to watchtower. There's zero reason for not having that. Uh, and there we go. Our borders are now bumping, so let the battle commence. Territory lost to the enemy. Ah, uh, down there as well. Okay. F Jesus Christ, they're slinging a shitload of them at me. Oh, but I think they're all privates. God, why they got to sling a shit? Why have they got to all sling their privates at me? Just not on. This lot were fine. They're just content to bump borders. The other lot, they're not happy at all. They're like, nah, no, we're not having any of that. You can come around here. I'm gonna fucking smack you one. Right, look out, town man. What do we got over here? All right, so they've got territory that goes up into. Oh, they've got a watchtower. That would be why. Um, right, slow it down. Let's get our bearings. Which you building manned? That one needs to remain open. That one's fine. Stronghold done. Yep, good. Uh, am I out of soldiers? I am. Right, we need iron. And I need another farm here. I've not structured things around here in the best of ways, but maybe if I... No, that's not going to work. There's not going to be enough space. Hmm. Okay, well, we've got one farm. New farm there. We've got two over there. Okay. There are places I can go about putting more of them if I do get um, some some more trees cleared. But for now, I'm kind of hemmed in a little bit. I don't like that. Oh, this is going to be a constant war of attrition going on over here. Right, uh, with the shipyard, you're not making rafts, you're making ships. <coughs> I'm under attack at a watchtower, which is unsurprising. I mean, who'd have thunk it? Yeah. I need an iron smelting works and a smithy, as well as a brewery. Those are all of the things we need to make soldiers. You've got to get them drunk enough to think that the army's a good idea. I really need to start getting an influx of soldiers. Now that we've got conflict, there's every possibility that I'm going to lose generals in any and all attacks. So I need to be sure that I'm able to reinforce my defences. So I'll keep the speed at 2. Just kind of keep things ticking along. This is going to really start burning through the coal supply that we've kind of built up. 21 coal is not what I would call a a stockpile by any means. Shit. I'm going to try and get barracks built up that way. Ah, oh, bugger. If they get that barracks in place, I am going to be in trouble. Um, you know what, evacuate soldiers and send off some generals up that way, hopefully. And my gold mines are now completely out, so no more generals until I get a new supply. I'm hoping some of those generals are going to head up to the northeast before this barracks gets built. They're being pretty bloody quick about it. Yes. Go, mates. Go. Uh, oh, that's a bit of a higgledy-piggledy bit of road, isn't it? I don't like that. No, we're going over this way. Uh, nice straight roads, please, as the Romans would have done it. Oh, you dick. 
that was like the, the military equivalent of just a tip. <laughs> Those generals were so close as well. If I'd done that like 30 seconds earlier. Oh. These guys are tenacious. But now I've got to expend all the, the time and materials sending things over this way as well. And they've got a lot less space that they need to be dealing with. I have underestimated this enemy. Quite clearly, I have. And that barracks is going up already. This is not going to end well. Oh, bastards. I'm not entirely sure what I can do about this. I need to find a new gold supply. Is there a chance that any is up in these hills? I mean, if it's going to be anywhere, it's probably going to be there. Um, you know what, I'm going to demolish this. I'm going to redirect my construction efforts. Um, I would like that tree gone, if possible. Territory lost to the enemy. Oh, actually, that's fine. Never mind. Like they didn't take as much as I was expecting. Nice. However, they've got a solid defense over this way. Lots of watchtowers and barracks and various other things. Mm. Does make me uneasy. Right, I definitely need more farms. I'm not getting enough grain to produce beer, which means I'm not getting new soldiers. Alright, that guardhouse has been completed, but I don't have any soldiers in reserve, I think. No, there are none coming out anywhere. No resources found in a quarry. Okay. Territory lost to the enemy, again. You absolute dickbags. Stop that. Um, right, okay, I am gonna... Evacuate this building as well. I don't want to have to do things this way because it is a rather precarious position to be in. And I'm hoping that if I can get generals up into this guardhouse, I can stop their advance a little bit. We managed to sneak another barracks in that close. Fucking hell. If I was okay with having really bad roads, I would do that. And you're upgrading that as well. As soon as that turns into a guardhouse, I'm gonna be fucked. Or am I being attacked? Really? Oh, never mind. <laughs> he managed. Mm. Okay, no, that's fine. Right. I've got to keep an eye on where they're building things up this way, because I really don't trust this. <laughs> the sneaky fuckers, they really are. Okay, get in, get in. Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. Right. Um. Can I try preparing an expedition? I'm interested to see where that would go. Oh, the Nubians are... Having their borders bump up against the, uh, the Mongols. But they're really, they're not doing anything. I mean, they're busy, like, making stuff. They've got, like, farms and mines and things everywhere, but... Like, guys, you need a woodcutter down here to deal with these trees, and you need quarries to get through this lot. Why are you not doing that? <laughs> See what I mean about the AI in this game? It's just dumb. When you're against it, it's... It can be a bit overwhelming. When it's on your side, it's just stupid. Um... I suppose I could build a quarry up this way, and... Let's try and get a barracks. I'm not expecting that I'm going to have the soldiers to be able to fill... Uh, to actually... You know... Um... Occupy the barracks. Not for a while, anyway. Unless I can get... Ooh! Ooh! The brewery is actually making stuff, so we should start getting a surplus of troops. But without gold from the mint to be able to actually... promote them... Oh, that's... 
No, slightly nerve wracking. Which one? Oh, yeah, you got manned. Nice. Um, let's send a geologist up this way. And I'm going to send one up this way as well. Get a good chance to check out my surroundings. If there's gold in either of these spots, then I'm, I'm going for it. I, I've got to get mines down again. Right, that hunter's done. No animals left for you to hunt. And that woodcutter is done as well. So we're going to get a farm. I should put a storehouse around here as well. We found gold. Yes. In both of these locations. Fantastic, because, yeah, we got nothing left down here. Which is a shame, but I was expecting as much. No resources found at a quarry. Okay, ship awaiting orders. There's no way you can go, mate. Cancel that expedition. Okay, seeing as there's no reason for me to have ships, cancel all production at the shipbuilder. Oh, they're really ramping up their military buildings around this way. Okay, we're extending you into a watchtower, along with you. And as soon as that barracks is built I'm going to ex and occupied, I'm going to extend that up into a uh, guardhouse. I don't think there's room enough there for it to extend into a um, watchtower. But... We could do something with it. All territory lost to the enemy. Okay. I didn't interfere with the barracks, though. Which is bloody good. If I could get a soldier up here, that would be awesome. What am I lacking? Shields and beer. I've got one sword. But the smithy and the smelting works are currently working. Which is good. Should get another coal mine linked up as well. That watchtower is menacing. That's another watchtower going there, and they're probably going to convert that one as well. Knowing them, I'm trying to keep an eye on the roads now. There's a soldier on his way. Yes. Right, and I've got another barracks going down here. This is in a position where it can extend all the way up into a stronghold. I know you're, I know you're taking my territory, mate. I'm just trying to put myself in a position where I can fend for myself. But you watch me, you watch me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna extend this. I have got so much stone, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Right, military building man, barracks. Fantastic. Ooh. Let's send a geologist out up here, see what we've got. Another barracks built. Good. We'll take the uh, turn the thing off on that. No coins. Right, storehouse has been completed. Nice. And another farm. Good. Definitely something that's needed. And gold mines are up. Well, first one is. Miner will be on his way sometime soon. Uh, I think that's another builder. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a leveler. They're extending this up into a watchtower as well. Not like I saw that one coming. Okay, I'll extend you out into a guardhouse. Uh, we got coal up this way. Okay, that's not bad. Like I said, I'm going to be needing a lot of it. Because, yeah, I've got loads of iron ore at the moment. Um, in fact, I might toggle production off on one of them. Because I need to I need to spread the amount of um, foodstuffs I've got around to other places. Alright, one watchtower completed, one guardhouse completed, another guardhouse completed. So slowly beefing out these defences. It's just taking a bit of time. Just need a soldier to come down here and occupy this little guardhouse down at the bottom. I'm getting a stockpile of beer now, it's just like shields. You know, swords and shields that are the problem. 
And I've got plenty of iron. Um, right, you're done. You're done. Right, let's shimmy some more of these uh, quarries down then. Another guardhouse upgrade. Sweet. Um, I will start allowing coins in that one. Yeah, coins can go in there as well. we'll tear that down and we'll start putting in markers for coal mines, just so I know what's up here. I want to see if this can be extended up into a stronghold. It can. So we're doing that. Uh, oh shit, the sawmills are all asleep. And I don't have a huge number of planks left, so... I need to find a good spot for setting up some forestry stuffs. So we're going to go up here. We're going to get a woodcutter's hut here just to clear all the stuff out. Territory lost to the enemy. Fucking Christ, you guys are tenacious. Like, really tenacious. They just cleared out all of this stone and trees and everything and we're just like, yep, okay, we're going to just find somewhere to put down another military building. Okay, yeah, you go about doing that. <laughs> right, we'll have a forest's hut there. We'll have another forest's hut here, and they can just plant trees right up in this corner. And then we'll have, like, a few woodcutter's huts that can just tear everything back down. And then there's a storehouse down here, so it doesn't have to travel far before it's counted as stock. Ah, oh, you fuckers. I was wondering if you were going to start trying to build down into this area. I really need more soldiers. Okay, apparently I've been getting more soldiers. I don't know where they're going. And now the coal is going to prioritise the... Uh... Surely any new soldier should prioritise going to empty buildings. Why would they not do that? Okay, empty that. And then I'll let the soldiers back in. Once it's empty. Right, there we go. It's not a great strategy, but... If it means that I can chance soldiers going off into buildings that I need them in... Where the fuck are you guys going? <laughs> I've now got this watchtower here that is completely unguarded. I mean, at least you're going there. I'm starting to worry. I'm starting to f feel a little bit of panic. Okay, that's fully reinforced. It's not fully promoted yet. That is. That's completely done now. And stronghold built. Okay. I'm assuming a lot of these generals have started heading up here to reinforce these watchtowers. Which, okay, I get. But at the same time, it's just like, come on, dudes. I know we're beset on all sides, but we've... We've got to focus. Which is, but it's kind of not what I'm not doing. I'm not really focusing on a single front, but you can't really do that. You can't afford to leave gaps anywhere. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what, another bakery. Have I got... I've got another rolling pin there. Um... We'll get another bakery so we can get a bit more bread. Uh, no resources in a quarry. Yep, that's fine. A load of woodcutters huts have gone up. Good. I suppose if I can get another farm in around here, that would be handy. If I can plant one there, should be a good spot for it. Hopefully it won't be hampered by the forester's work. It's my only concern. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Fuckers. One iron mine's empty. Shite. Oh, they would start with the catapults, wouldn't they? Which means I'm going to need to start advancing and I don't have the forces for it. And they are just going to have an endless supply of stone. 
Well, they've not got an endless supply of stone, but they've certainly got a lot. Oh, God, that gets so close. I don't know what the, the hit ratio is for those. Oh, shit, the Nubians are actually advancing. Holy fuck, nice one, guys. They broke through. I had not paid attention in the slightest. Jesus, you guys have spread like a plague. <laughs> nice. Yes, give them give them an additional front. They're even taking their structures. They've actually taken quite a few of them. Oh, bravo. So if they claim the portal, do we win together, or do I then have to claim the portal from them? Jesus Christ, you're really going for the catapult strategy now, aren't you? Alright, two can play at that game. You're not the only one who can fling rocks, mate. Coal, coal mines are running out as well. I'm really concerned that these buildings are going to get demolished. Right, at least there's a soldier in that one now. Although if he dies, then if he gets hit by a catapult, then he, he's a bit fucked. It's not good. Okay, I also... Oh, I do have an additional supply of iron for when the others run out. Okay, soldier hit by catapult, you dick. I only killed the private, but that does mean that I've only got one hit left in this building. Mm. Oh, that's overshot. <laughs> How's that smithy doing? Are we doing okay on actually building up a supply of soldiers? Who fucking knows? But no idea. Another iron mine's dead. Great. Okay. Supply of iron is not bad. Or 74. But I'm going to have to connect these up as well. Just to keep a supply incoming. A lot like these boulders. Well, I've got one catapult built, though. And that's two. Alright, time to return the favour. Gee, son of a bitch. I didn't push my borders back too far. Which is good. Now we can start flinging stone at these guys. And miss, like, 100% of the time. I don't like the catapult. There's no, there's obviously no way to defend against it, short of taking away any territory they can use. Oh, you buggers. This mission is literally, it's just rapid expansion. As quickly as you can possibly do it. And I'm hoping that the Nubians are going to be able to take, like, this guardhouse up here and just win the map for us. But I don't know if that's how it's going to work. No territory loss of the enemy. Where was that? Oh, right, okay. Sneaking around that way, I guess. And, yeah, another watchtower. Totally saw that one coming. Didn't see... didn't see one happening down here. Wherever the bloody hell it was. Um, sneaky little... Fuckers. Okay. Well, we're finally getting some more expansion out over this way. Supply of soldiers must be getting a bit better, then. I say desperately looking at all of my military structures and not really seeing anything. <laughs> right, just start extending this building up as much as you can. Wish I ex could extend that one further. How are we doing on beating up this one? Oh, there's only got one soldier in it. You can tell by the uh, the flags on this pole. This one with the, the white flag with the black X across it, uh, that represents um, how close it is to enemy, uh, to enemy territory. So, white means it's nothing to be concerned with. It doesn't need many soldiers. Yeah, that's how we do! <laughs> um, yes, a, a plain white flag, uh, which you will find on one of these bar barracks uh, means they're not close to enemy territory, they won't need full reinforcements or anything. If they get one, they're kind of 
a potential risk. So they'll go for a kind of mid-level of um, reinforcement, which means for barracks it will stay at one. If it's a guardhouse, they'll get two. Uh, for a watchtower, I think it will push it to three. Uh, uh, or maybe it will stay at two. I th actually, I think it stays at two. A stronghold will go to three if it's got one one black stripe. If it's got two, uh, making a cross, then they'll fully reinforce. It'll get a full complement of soldiers. Uh, right. My little forestry area up this way. Mission can... accomplished. Yes! <laughs> Our stay on the so-called Island of Infinity did indeed seem endless to us. Mm. But thanks to our diligent stonecutters, we were able to advance on the Chinese and end the siege. The last black pharaoh was so grateful that he gave us some useful gifts, such as pheromones to ward away the locusts, and some hardy grain varieties for our people. How very generous of him. Before we went through the next portal, we exchanged ideas about our missing women, but reached no conclusion to speak of. Without women, Tanotaman would in all probability indeed remain the last pharaoh. Before we entered the portal, he indicated that we should not expect to get on well with the Chinese who would be waiting for us on the other side. Well, we know where to go from here, don't we? Well, that one actually ended up being a, a much shorter uh, level map than I was expecting. I'm glad that the the Nubians were able to claim the portal and secure a victory for us because it was starting to feel like it was getting to just kind of like a stalemate sort of thing. It was just going to be a war of attrition of who can fling as many rocks as possible. And yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. And that's actually perfect timing because I've got to wrap this episode up now. So I'm going to leave it there. And yeah, the next episode will move on to map six and we shall see where we go from there. I have a feeling that that's the one that I remembered with the, the limited gold supply. You've got to make the mad rush for it right at the start, otherwise you're destined to fail. So, next one might be a bit of a... might be a bit of a mad, mad dash. But we'll see how things go. For now, I'm going to wrap this episode up here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays on Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, chuck me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Gotta save quickly. <laughs> Little trumpet bits caught me off guard. <laughs> Doo -doo.